Everyone, I would like you to meet my guest, very first guest of Kate's Corner, Debbie. Hello. So, <laughs> Debbie, can you tell us about your Comic-Con experience? Yeah, um, I hadn't been before. It was pretty scary. Didn't know what to expect. It wasn't anything that I had expected, so that's good, I guess. I hadn't been before. It was pretty scary. I'm not a massive comic nerd, so, you know, I was a bit worried that I'd be some kind of imposter or something but it was pretty exciting some things I saw that I wasn't or I hadn't heard about before but were pretty cool um Oz looks awesome looking forward to seeing that yes I agree um Wreck-It Ralph that's pretty cool Love agree again. again yes um Elysium what the hell was that yeah oh my god <laughs> um so I so much no excitement idea, for that movie yeah it's gonna be awesome hearing Matt Damon and Jodie Foster talking about it was crazy and covering in poop yeah, well, <laughs> I try not to think about that part. Pacific Rim, of course, looks awesome. The campaign, not really a fan of Will Ferrell. Like, oh, that's going to be funny. <laughs> but, um, no, you respect my I future husband, I was laughing okay? the whole time. You're going to have to start liking him because I'm going to yeah, marry him, I so. I'm laughing the whole time they were talking about that. I was oh, just my gosh. Peeing my pants. Funny is. Great. <laughs> <laughs> um, Man of Steel as well. I hadn't actually heard anything about it before, but that looks epic. Oh, and they hadn't released any footage before... Comic Con, so yeah. there was no poster or anything. It was all just, all just talk. There was nothing that we could physically see to try and gauge what it was going to be like. So everything that we saw was new and yeah, exciting. Apart from that, that was all good. Things that I had heard about that looked even better after I've heard them talking about it. Um, Expendables two. I hated that first movie, but. But it's Stallone so cool. <laughs> this thing to them talk like Arnie was saying all these catchphrases. Yeah, they use all of their catchphrases. Hilarious. Like Arnie goes, I'll be back. And then Bruce Willis yeah. is like, no, I'll be back. And, yes. and then they're hilarious. talking about him being the Terminator and stuff. They pretty much just throw <laughs> in all kind of yeah. Arnie movie references in there. So it should be funny. Yeah, which is great. Community, which I saw, you didn't. Mm -hmm. um, Tell us about that. Yes, well, for anyone who doesn't know... That's one of my favourite shows of all time, pretty much. They had five of the cast there, Chevy Chase and Donald Glover wasn't there, unfortunately. I'm sure they're too rich and famous to be sparing time for us. I don't know, <laughs> Sylvester Stallone and the Governor can show up. Yeah, well, anyways. Um, but that was good. Um, there was a lot of spoilers they talked about, so I won't go into that because obviously people don't, don't want to know spoilers. Um, but Spoiler they alert. did, <laughs> one thing I will say, they did mention the possibility that if the... Students aren't all in school. There is a possibility the show can still continue. Ooh. So that was a good thing, I guess. Really loved hearing about Danny Pudi, who plays Arbed on the show. Um, pretty much, that's just him. That's just <laughs> that's just, he is the character. Just how he is. So, which I thought he was putting on some kind of thing in the show, but that's interesting to hear. Apart from that, Lupa. That looks amazing. I love Joseph Gordon-Levitt, Bruce Willis, what a dude. Future husband. <laughs> so, yeah. Sorry, Steve. I, I saw the trailer and it looked great. And after hearing them talk about it and like how they go into character and stuff, yeah. it just sounded even more amazing. So, Another great. thing about Lupa mm. is that I was under the impression that they had cast Bruce Willis first and then yeah. they cast uh, Joseph Gordon-Levitt to mm. play a young him. Yeah. But it turns out it was actually around the other way. The guy who wrote it wrote it for Joseph yeah. Gordon-Levitt and called the character Joe. Mm. And then they got Bruce Willis in next. And then they were like, holy shit, how are we going to get Joseph Gordon-Levitt to look like Bruce Willis? Yeah. So he was wearing prosthetics yeah, he, every day yeah. to make That's his forehead and like his nose and his chin and stuff look like Bruce Willis. Mm. So that's an interesting fact. Yes, which is crazy. And Emily Blunt, she seemed quite lovely. Yes. Which is nice as well. Mm. Apart from that, Hobbit was also amazing. I love Martin Freeman, so it was interesting. She lost yes. her shit. <laughs> Hearing him discuss like how he kind of came into, obviously everyone from Lord of the Rings is already in that whole world, mm. how he came in and approached that. Iron Man 3 and that whole Marvel panel was oh, ridiculous. So good. Um, Captain America 2. Yes, Captain America 2. I'm very happy about that. Avengers 2, that should be great as well. Oh my gosh. Um, yes. And yeah, the footage of Iron Man 3 looks, like it looks a lot darker than the previous two, mm. but... That should be great. So, For those that don't know, the comic that they're going off, he has a drinking problem and it spirals into darkness. But I think they said they're yeah. not making him have the drinking problem because it's too much storyline to put in, but they're still using the the main story. Like, he's probably just going to come home and have a martini or something. <laughs> and the old Downey J. That was Downey nice J. having you in kind of... My husband. Past. <laughs> yes. 
<laughs> I know he's already uh, married, but whatever. Things change. He did make an interesting comment that um, his wife doesn't like when he is filming an Iron Man because he gets because too. Uh, he becomes yeah. Tony Stark. <laughs> he turns into an asshole. So, what was your biggest regret? Of Comic Con, biggest regret would have to be not getting a photo of Batman at Pinkberry. <laughs> yeah. That is also is, my biggest this regret. Guy's, you got to understand this guy's chin. If you imagine like it's the whole beautiful. bat face thing, it's just his just chin was chiseled. like God. Christian Bale's chin. Was That's gorgeous. why it was so he, scary. We were we were in love with him. Because he looked like Batman. Like, he yeah. wasn't just a guy in yeah. a Batman suit. There were, he looked like he could have been Christian Bale. Yeah, there were other guys wearing, like, pretty much the same suit, but they had, like, you know, stubble or just looked a bit weird. Yeah, it's or, like, like that's you know, you could tell that they were, like, suit. Asian or Mexican <laughs> or something. And yeah, this guy was Christian Bale. Yeah. Like, he could have been there totally incognito and, and no one would have known. I think <laughs> that was also my biggest disappointment. Yes. Not... Uh, not sitting down next to him and just being yeah. like, hey, Batman, can I share your table with you and have yeah. Pinkberry with you? Because, you, like, the way that he was, he was like this, he was just like... He was just like, mm, checking on his phone. <laughs> he was just such a, such a man yeah. about it, like, like it Batman so in his time off. Do you have anything further you'd like to add to the fans of Kate's Corner? Um, hello, fans of Kate's Corner. <laughs> All right, we're going to go into the footage of Comic-Con now, so, and then probably get dinner. Yes. Mm, maybe go stroll along the beach. Yeah. Pretend you're on Baywatch. Yeah, I'm going to pretend I'm on Baywatch by running slow-mo across Santa Monica Beach, and there's nothing you can do to stop me. Kate's Corner, signing out. Please welcome to the stage the three lead stars. Oh my God. Taylor Lautner. over that way over there is the start of the queue this here is hall h where we just came out of spent 15 hours here today and we're going to go take a walk and show you where the queue ended up and where we were just in this goddamn place let's go for a walk here is the end of the queue under the tents that area alone holds probably about 8,000 people or so I don't know who that is. All right, we're at the back of the building now, where the queue looped around all the way down here. Still going. Wave to the good people of Kate's Corner, Debbie. The queue went all the way down there. Looped all the way, all the way along, all the way along up there. And then went all the way up to that building there came back around we were down over there and then the queue you can see it went all the way down there and then came up around that island and then looped away and we could not see the end of the queue that is how far away the queue was bonkers so this is san diego yeah <laughs> wants to be your puppet master. Guys, I'm not gonna do it right now because I feel like the energy's not right in the room. <laughs> uh, and Troy looks like Rachel Maddow, so I don't really feel. <laughs> First of all, Troy, I want to thank you for your question. And I really appreciate you coming down to Comic-Con here. It's my first time. I really enjoy it here. The people of San Diego are full of such life. And uh, they're so friendly. And I'm, I'm ironically a huge fan of Rachel Maddow's as well. So uh, it's really great to meet you. 
Rachel. <laughs> You're shorter than I thought you'd be in person. All right, so we are here at Comic Con, and we're in the exhibit hall. It's the last day of Comic Con. We thought we'd take you around and have a look, so you can see just exactly what we've been dealing with for the last few days. It's really busy, so let's go for a walk. Checking out a little bit of the Comic Con Exhibition Hall. 